One of the most misunderstood concepts in Judaism is the principle of tznias, especially when it comes to women. See, most people think that tznias means to hide. Accordingly, the best form of tznias would be to walk around with a brown bag over your head, to completely hide yourself. But I'd like to suggest a deeper approach to tznias. To do this, we need to go back to Adam Harishun's original status before he sinned. You see, Adam Harishun did not look like you or me. Adam Harishun looked completely angelic. The way the Midrash refers to him is that he wore kutnas or, clothing or skin of light. In other words, when you look at a light bulb, what do you see? You see light. If you look really closely, you can just so you just see the surface of the actual light bulb itself. When you look at you or me, you see a bunch of flesh. You see just physical flesh. But when you looked at Adam Harishan, all you saw was Adam Harishan's inner self. That transcendent, illuminescent, spiritual self. And when you looked really closely past the surface, so to speak, then you're able to just scratch out the physical body. In other words, when you looked at Adam Harishan, you saw Adam Harishan. The physical body was just there to contain the neshama. The physical body was there to reveal the neshama, but not to contain it and hide it. However, once Adam Harishan sinned, the entire physical body fell as well. In other words, after Adam Harishan sinned, when you look at Adam Harishan, you can no longer see Adam Harishan. All you can see was the physical surface, was the physical body. When you look at me and when I look at you, it's the same thing. I don't see you. I don't see your your inner consciousness, your thoughts, your emotions, yourself. I don't see anything beyond the physical surface. It's very depressing when you think about it. The entire physical condition fell to the state where the physical no longer reflects the spiritual, but in a certain respect, it hides it. You can see this also by Sari Aminu. Sari Aminu is called Ischa. Rashi brings it down that her name was Ischa. Why? Ischa means transparent. Sari Aminu was clearly one of the most beautiful women who ever lived because when she went down to Mitzrayim, the Mitzrayim in Paro wanted her. They want to take away from Avram, not because she was so spiritually beautiful, but because she was so physically beautiful. But her true beauty lay in her transparency. The fact that her inner beauty loyally permeated and reflected through her physical body. That she wasn't just physically beautiful, but the physical vessel was there to reflect and project and convey something much deeper inside. Which is why the same root of Ischa is what? Schach, the main part of the Sukkah. The shorish, the root of schach, is the same as sukkah. Why? Because the main part of the sukkah is the schach. Schach is meant to be transparent. When you look up at the schach, you should see the stars. It has to let rain in. Why? Because schach is supposed to help us learn to see past the surface into what's truly important. Because true beauty is oneness. It's where the physical and spiritual melt into a oneness, where the physical doesn't hide the inner self, but reveals it. And nowadays, beauty has been corrupted in that it only refers to an outer beauty, a surface beauty, which hides the inner self, which hides your thoughts, your ideas, your beliefs, your midos, your emotions, your entire inner world is hidden and all that's revealed is the outer. But the goal is to use the vessel, to use the physical vehicle to reflect and reveal something higher. That you can only, you know, I can't see you, all I can see is your body, but I, I, I can understand you and see you through the words you speak, through your actions, through your facial expressions, through how you express yourself into the world. And sneeze is not meant to hide you, it's meant to reveal you, the true you, so that people don't focus on your external trappings and get stuck in the surface, but get to meet the actual self, the actual neshama, which lays beneath the surface. So someone can only be genuinely beautiful if their root and core is beautiful, and they use the physical as a vehicle to project that inner beauty outwards.